Hi everybody, I wanted to make a video really quick to talk about the GitHub account for Atom CMS. Now of course you can come here and you can download the latest source code for the project. But what you can also do is come over here to the issues panel and if you're having any problems with your code, for some reason it's not working the way it is in my video, um, or if you see that there's an error in my code or anything, anything like that, I definitely encourage you to come over here and post those errors because one it's easier for me to manage because when they're in the uh, YouTube comments those get uh, you know I start getting to the point where I've got hundreds and hundreds of comments and they're hard to keep track of and YouTube's kind of made it confusing with replying and all that junk so it's just way easier to manage but on top of that it's also good because other people who are having similar issues can come over here and read through everybody else's issues and see the solutions. So if you come to github.com slash the digicraft slash Adam CMS and then click on issues you can get to this page and to create an issue it's pretty easy just come up here to this green new issue button give it a title and uh, leave me a comment about the issue. Um, one thing that uh, you may not know is that you can set up code blocks and there's a lot of other um, formatting things you can do here if you click on github flavored markdown link here you can learn more about that um, but I wanted to show you how to do a code block you'll a lot of people who have already posted on here will see that I go through and actually um, edit their post and and add in a code block um, you might think that's happening automatically but um, I'm actually going there and do it myself so if you wanted to put in a code block you can simply do this. You press the accent key, which is uh, also the tilde key if you hold down shift, three times. And then you type in your code. And then when you're done with your code block, do the accent key another three times. And that will end the code block. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can click on preview here. So there you go. Now this is a code that's not formatted. If you wanted to add formatting, you can add that here at the start of the uh, code block. So if we would just want uh, PHP, type that there, no space. Hit preview. And there you go. But let me put a little more in here so you can actually see some difference. So now we have some syntax highlighting going on. You can also do HTML. And there you go. And then they also have an option to do HTML and PHP together since that's pretty common. And if you follow the uh, link up here for the uh, GitHub flavored markdown, there's a couple other links involved there that shows you even more ways to format. For instance, there's a list here of all the formatting options for the code. This would be the code that you type in, where we typed in PHP or HTML. So you can do this for JavaScript and uh, many, many other languages. Plus you have some other options here to format similar to HTML, which you can actually put HTML in here if you want to. But if you wanted to write with the basic markdown language, you can do headings this way, block quotes, italic lists, and so on. You can even do tables. Um, they even allow you to do task lists and references. So these are just some quick tips on how you can post your issues here on GitHub and better format those posts.